Walton on Thames is a market town on the south bank of the Thames and has a population of around 23,000. The River Thames here was the border between Middlesex and Surrey, but in 1965, following boundary changes, Shepparton on the other side of the river became part of Surrey. It's lovely down here by the river, ducks and swans to feed and a picnic area too. Walton has had six bridges. The latest was opened in 2017 and before the first there was a ferry dating at least to the 17th century. Walton has its own marina. There are a number of riverside pubs serving meals and refreshments. Ah! I'm walking into town now, past another popular pub, the Bear. This Weatherspoons pub was once a cinema. It was called The Palace and it closed in 1954. Walton has a film history. More on that later. St Mary's Parish Church is a Grade 1 listed building. It has some Saxon material and an architectural structure of the 12th century. The square flint tower, supported by a 19th century brick buttress, has eight bells, the oldest bearing the date 1606. The High Street has a number of popular shops and there is the Heart Centre which first opened its doors in 2006.
Walton has connections with New Zealand. The New Zealand General Hospital was a World War I military hospital here in Walton-on-Thames. The hospital was opened in 1915 by requisitioning the essentially 15th century Mount Felix Estate, a grand house with gardens. These portals are all that remains of the grand house. It was the first hospital in the United Kingdom used specifically for soldiers of the New Zealand Expeditionary Force. Approximately 27,000 New Zealand soldiers were treated at the hospital during the war. The main house was demolished in 1967 to leave the clock tower and stable block grade 2 listed building. Film producer Cecil Hepworth leased a house in Hurst Grove, Walton-on-Thames, for £36 a year in 1899 and established Hepworth Studios. This is the last remaining building of film studios in Walton. A 15 feet by 8 foot stage was constructed in the house's backyard. By the turn of the century, Hepworth was making 100 films a year. In 1926, the studio was purchased by Archibald Nettlefold and renamed as Nettlefold Studios and began producing comedy silent films until it was upgraded to sound production with the advent of sound film in the early 1930s. Nettlefold Studios previously used the land that is now occupied by these flats. Hersham and Walton Motors constructed its own racing car in the early 1950s on this site. Sterling Moss completed his first Formula One Grand Prix in an HWM vehicle. And that was Walton on Thames in Surrey. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.